Well, hello there, everyone. Hello there, my little goldies, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to my, except for the little tour video that I did of my new room, um, welcome to my very first video that I'm doing in my new room on my lovely, lovely table that I have here. And so I thought it was appropriate to actually do a haul video. And what a haul video I have. I have quite a few different things that I'm going to show you guys. We have some journaling things, we have one coloring book, and then we have just some organizational stuff that I'm going to show you guys that I got for my room. And so we're going to be here a while, so just grab yourself a little snack, uh, maybe something to drink, or you know, some popcorn or something, and let's just get right down to it. Now, I am an Amazon affiliate. Uh, I think everything I'm showing you guys here came from Amazon, so I will link the everything I got in the description section of the video and you guys can check out that link those links I guess <laughs> so if there's anything that you would like to purchase from from anything that you have seen in this video you can click on the appropriate link and it'll take you to the product on Amazon I am an Amazon affiliate so if you do decide to purchase anything from any links that I provide um, I do get a little bit of a commission back and it just kind of goes back in to help support the channel and so that I can show you guys some really cool products and things like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I have one coloring book and this is a Tokidoki Overwatch coloring book and this is an adult coloring book. Okay, now I'm not too familiar with a whole lot of like Tokidoki stuff. I think it's a toy line, okay? And I saw this on someone else's channel and I thought it was really cute. I thought I would get it just to kind of see what it was going to be like. And it just says Overwatch. Now, I think Overwatch is a video game. I have never played it before, but um, I heard it was pretty cute. <laughs> so anyway, and it just says Overwatch. Um, an adult coloring book is an epic volume of art capturing the spirit and wonder of Blizzard Entertainment's critically acclaimed video game. This deluxe coloring book showcases the award-winning game artistry through more than 48 pieces of concept art, paintings, and sketches. Now you can bring Overwatch characters settings and thrilling adventures to life with the coloring book for every overwatch fan okay so and it is not create space paper it is actually i guess from their publisher so you get like a little glossy you get a couple of uh, glossy pages that kind of show you what um this uh, overwatch game is going to look like okay so I'm going to raise this up just a little bit because I kind of feel like we're not getting everything in frame. And the beauty of it is that I can do that. <laughs> um, I mean, I was able to do that before, but this really makes it nice. Okay. And then I can just kind of look up and just make sure that everything is in frame like so. So here's just some of the pictures that we're going to get. There's some glossy pages here. The paper feels very nice to color on. It is single-sided. Um, I don't think it's perforated. There's some pretty complicated things in here, but um, I think like if you're a fan of Overwatch and if you like Tokidoki, I think um, this is going to be really good. This is something different than I normally have. So uh, like I said, I saw this on someone else's channel and thought it was really cute. So I thought I would get it and see what it was like. And, uh, and yeah, so I think... Uh, colored pencils would go really nicely in something like this and it's kind of thin paper but it's it's definitely it seems like it's a lot better than uh, create space paper all right so there's our one and only coloring book let's go ahead and look at some journaling things and for this I'm gonna go ahead and lower the camera there we go lower the camera back down there all right so journals now, um, I wanted to kind of show you what how it came. Um, I have a lot of Peter Popper Press as well as a couple of other Tokidoki journals. But this first one is Watercolor Poppies. Okay. And I can go ahead and take off the plastic thing that, uh, that the journal comes in. That way I can, you guys can uh, kind of see what it's actually going to be like. And uh, I'll go ahead and 
just put that aside and I'll throw that in the waste can in a little bit. But here is what it's going to look like. Okay, let's just move that over that way. Here's what it's going to look like. Okay, and so it's got a plas or plastic, an elastic to close it up. This is watercolor poppies. Okay, and again, it's from Peter Popper Press. This is a smaller journal. So this is more of the, I think, 5 by 7 kind of journal, I think. Um, I think it's a 5 by 7 I don't remember. But um, it's got some faintly lined pages. The corners of the pages are pretty rounded right there. But um, this is what you would get with Peter Popper Press. Now, they have different sizes, and this is their smaller size right here. So this is more of your uh, kind of throw-in-your-purse journal kind of thing. It's, it's small enough to be able to do that. But there's that one. Then our next journal is a Tokidoki journal. This is a, um, it says Tokidoki. And I think this is another Overwatch journal, okay? So again, you get some plastic paper on it. I'm gonna go ahead and and, uh, and un undo it so that we can actually look inside it and see what we get. All right. I think I'm gonna move my waste can over here so I can reach it and I'll just throw I will just throw all of this stuff in my waste can and then empty it after my video is complete. All right, so let's go ahead and just open this up. Now, this journal, if I didn't say so, it, it was hardcover, okay? This is also hardcover, okay? So here's what it looks like. There's the front of it, and then here is the back of it. It says Tokidoki. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh no, I'm sorry. Here's the back of it. I had it upside down. I'm sorry. Here's the back of the journal. Okay. And then you get the elastic that just kind of comes over and closes it off like that. So here's the front of it like so. All right. So here are the end papers. And again, you get a picture of the characters. This is really cute, you guys. This really is. It's cute. And then um, it's got some really pretty nice paper in it. It's, it's, it's kind of a sleek paper, a real smooth kind of sleek paper. And then here is what this page looks like on the inside. And you can definitely see the lines in it. So this is actually a really nice journal. And it's got on the pages, it looks like it's perforated too. I think maybe not. No, maybe, maybe it's not perforated. It, it felt like one of the pages was perforated, but as you can see on the upper left hand side, it's got some little character here. And then on the right hand side, it's got some little character down there. I don't know who they are because I'm just not familiar with Tokidoki a whole lot. Um, I just, I got it because I thought it was cute. But yeah, I'm not familiar with the with the little Tokidoki characters. So pardon me um, because I don't know who they are. But it's got, it, it looks like it, um, it looks like it's, it's, um, there's different characters on different pages here, it looks like, because that looks different than like this. So I think there is a pattern that goes on and then it repeats. And it looks like there's just these, these different characters that repeat throughout these, these pages. Okay, so as you can see, there's some different, different characters here. There we go. So there's this Tokidoki journal. Um, very cute. I'm actually quite, uh, I'm actually quite impressed with this. And um, the elastic on here is pretty strong. It's, it feels like it's going to be pretty tight um, to keep it closed. Okay. So there's what it looks like with the elastic on it. All right. Next, we have another Peter Popper Press journal. This one is called Cherry Blossoms. Okay, and this is a bigger size, and I'll go ahead and take off the, I will go ahead and take off the uh, wrapping. I could have actually done this for all the journals, but I wanted to show you how they came. Okay. So this is Cherry Blossoms. Here's the front of it. This is the bigger size. I want to say this is more like a seven by nine, I think. So, and it does have an elastic, but it is buried. <laughs> I think it's bad. Maybe this one doesn't have an elastic. No, this one actually doesn't have an elastic. Pardon, pardon me, my bad, mea culpa. <laughs> but yeah, this one does not have an elastic like the smaller one does. Here is our end papers. This one does, however, no, it doesn't. I thought it had a pocket. Um, and there's our end papers. This has um, lined pages. 
with uh, it's faintly lined paper and uh, the paper in the bigger ones it seems like it's a little bit nicer than what you get in the smaller ones so this is some decent paper and uh, actually really good for fountain pens. I have used many, many uh, Peter Popper Press journals and it's really great for using uh, fountain pens in these. There's that one. We have another Tokidoki journal. I believe this is a cactus journal. And again, I saw this on someone else's channel and I thought it was cute and wanted to go ahead and get it. So let me go ahead and um, I'll, take the, uh, I'll take the plastic off of it. This is another uh, Tokidoki journal. Here is what the back of it looks like. There's the front of it. And I think this may be another Overwatch one, but let's go ahead and just take a look at what we got. Here are our end papers. And you get the same thing on this side over here. Oh, this one is really cute. You get, you get some blank pages, it looks like. Yeah, these are blank pages, and you get some really nice designs on these. So it looks like all the pages here are pretty much the same, but you just, you get like these little characters from Tokidoki on these little pages. It's just a real cutesy kind of journal. And the paper feels a little thin, but it's actually not bad. I think like if you want to use a fountain pen in this, I think I would go with maybe more of a fine nib fountain pen. If you try to go with something too broad, it's going to bleed through, but if you're a gel pen user, it should work out perfectly fine. Um, I know some people love the, um, and I'm sorry about the shadow. I can't really do anything about the shadow. I'm, I'm getting a light in here to put on this table, which will help. But for right now, we're just gonna be seeing a shadow right there. And I just, I'm sorry about that. I can't really do anything about it right now. But um, I can try to put it maybe like that. So you can kind of see what the pages look like without the shadow. But yeah, um, I think this would be okay with fountain pen, but like I said, just make sure you use maybe a fine point. It does have a bookmark in there, as you can see. But, oh, I was also saying some people like the little designs on here, the little characters, and some don't. It just depends on what you're, what, what you want. Uh, some people like more of a blank journal. Um, this is really cute for just like when you just want a little extra oomph right there. So very, very cutely decorated. Okay, there's that. And I like to always make sure when I'm closing this, these up that the elastics kind of go on straight and that they're not twisted. All right, so then we have another Tokidoki journal. Okay, here are the end papers. This is what you get there. And now this paper is blank, totally blank paper, except for the shadow. That's just a shadow right there. Uh, this paper feels a little thinner, um, but I think you can get away with fountain pen. Just use something kind of a fine point. Gel pens ought to work perfectly fine in here. Hardcover journal. Oh, well, there's that one. We have another Peter Popper Press journal. This one is the Purple Wildflowers Journal. And this is an, a bigger one. I'll take off the plastic thing. That way we can look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So this one does not have... Uh, an elastic closure, but there's what it's going to look like on the front and back. Again, it's a, a bigger journal. Very, very pretty little pink and papers there. So there's that. And then again, same kind of paper that you would expect from Peter Popper Press. Very, very nice paper. Okay, faint lines. Very, very nice. This one here is another Peter Popper Press journal. This is Purple Lotus Journal. And again, I will go ahead and take the uh, papers off of it. Okay. So this is another bigger journal. And all these bigger journals do have bookmarks in them, so just wanted to clear that up. They do have bookmark bookmarks. Here are the end papers for this one. And you get the same thing on the back. And again, same kind of paper with our Peter Popper Press journals. Here is, let me see if I can find the bookmark. 
Uh, let's see here. Um, try to find it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here it is. And again, pardon the shadow. Here's the bookmark right there. You can see that. We have another Peter Popper Press journal. This one here is Almond Blooms journal. Again, we'll take the plastic off. And there's what that one looks like. This is another big journal. Okay, and here's what it looks like. It's pretty thick right there. And here's what all of the, how thick the bigger journals are. Here are our end papers. And you get the same thing on the back. And again, same kind of paper with the Peter Popper Press journals. Faintly lined pages. And uh, here is what the bookmark is going to look like. There's that. Yeah, I definitely need a light in here because we, we get this shape. We get this shadow right there, and I just I can't do anything about that right now until I get an extra light on this table. Yeah. But anyway, there's that. Okay. Here is another Peter Popper press. This is Midnight Floral. Go ahead and unwrap it. Okay. So this is another bigger journal. There's what it's going to look like on the back. And this one has gold edging on the on the uh, pages right there. Some of some of these do, some of them don't. Okay. Some some of them do, just some of them don't. But there's the end papers. You get the same thing on the back. And again, same kind of paper. You know, I don't need to discuss the paper. We've already done that, but there's that one. Midnight Floral. Then we've got Autumn Moon Journal. This is another Peter Popper Press. This is a bigger journal. And like I said, all these bigger journals, they do have um, bookmarks in them. Okay. Front and then here is the back. And here are our end, here are our end papers right there. Same thing here. And then of course same paper. Here is the bookmark. And the bookmark for this one is this color. Okay. And then this one also has gold edging on the, the pages, on the outside of the pages. Next we have another Peter Popper Press. This is, this is Tree of Dreams Journal. Okay, well there's what that looks like. We'll take the paper off. This is another bigger journal. Okay, there's the front, and here is the back. It also has gold edging on the outside of the pages right there. And here are the end papers. And end papers here. And of course, as I said, same paper. And this one also has a bookmark, which it looks like, I'll try to get to it right here. There's what that looks like. There's our bookmark. All right, so there's that one. All right, then the next journal we have is Tiffany Window Journal. Another Peter Popper Press one. I think this one is really, really pretty. That one is very pretty. So we'll take the paper off of it. There's the bigger journal there again. Dump that in the trash. Okay. Here's the front, and then here is the back. And then more gold edging on the outside of the pages. Okay. Here are the end papers. And you get the same thing on the back. 
and also same paper. And this also has a bookmark. All of these journals have bookmarks. And there's what that bookmark looks like. Okay, there's that. All right, last journal, guys, last journal. This one is the Dapper Foxes. I think these are so cute. Now this one is a smaller journal. Oh my gosh, look at all these little guys. Yeah. Look at all those little guys. I think it is so cute. Oh, I think it's so cute. Ah! Now this one does have elastic. There's the back of it. So this one's a, a smaller one. It's not quite as small as, oh, and I'm going to, I'm going to stack these back up here because they are falling over. <laughs> That's what I get for not really stacking them up nicely. So, um, but anyway, this journal is small, is bigger than this one. This one is, this one that I showed you, the, the very first one I showed you, the watercolor one. It is quite a bit smaller than the Fox one. Okay, so Peter Popper Press actually has like three, I believe, different sizes. This one is slightly bigger, okay? So let's go ahead and take off the elastic and I'll show you this. Here are the end papers. And this one has a nice little pocket on the back right there for storing some papers, okay? And this one does not have a bookmark, nor does it have the gold edges on the pages. But it does have uh, faintly lined paper and not quite as nice of paper as the bigger journals have, but a little bit better than like, um, a little bit better than the real small ones have. So you could get away with using fountain pens in it. Just use something, uh, you know, use a fine point, I think, because you don't want to have it bleed through if you use something really broad. But again, gel pens and all that would work perfectly fine. I wouldn't use any kind of watercolor or anything on them because um, it's just not that kind of paper to be doing that with. All right, so there are the journals and the, um, and the, and the coloring stuff, okay? So, you know, what? actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because otherwise it's really going to get long. So in part two, um, I will come back and I'll show you the organizational stuff that I got. But um, so anyway, we'll just kind of confine ourselves to the coloring and journaling stuff here. So there's the coloring book. And then here is the big. Ah! <laughs> I'm dropping stuff, you guys. I am so dropping stuff. Oh my goodness. That's what I get for trying to put it on its side and show this to you guys. Let me grab this journal that fell on the floor. Oh my word. Ah. All right, guys, let's try this again. So you saw the coloring book and then here are all of the, all of the journals that we got in, in this haul. So there's everything that we're gonna show in part one and I will come back and do a part two and uh, I will show you like all of the organizational stuff that I got. So coloring book, and then you saw all the journals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And of course, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to see more like this. Give it a big thumbs up. And ring the notification bell so you can see more like this. And uh, you all have a great day. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, bye my little goldies.